I've got a problem and it is not a pretty one. And it involves buying and trying out a new tool. I guess you could call it a tool. This is a uh, air ethereal ozone generator MA5000. And I picked this up on Amazon and I picked it up because it was one that had better reviews and I could get it next day because the issue I've got, well, it's kind of a big issue to me. So long story short, a chicken, we have chickens, one got in the Suburban and died. And it stayed there for several days without us knowing it. Opened the door, um, dead chicken on the floor, on the floor of the Suburban and um, maggots and flies and it's nasty. I've done the cleanup work as far as just getting the chicken out and the floor mats. So luckily it was on a rubber floor mat, but um, I think I've gotten anything that got any juice on it out, but it smells awful and it is not a normal dead smell. Um, there's only, I can only identify that smell. I've had it several times in my life and it you will not forget it it is the smell of rotting flesh in heat um thinking back years ago we uh my grandfather he went to a nursing home and we checked in on his house and we didn't know it but the deep freeze had went out and it was a deep freeze full of meat and it stayed in there and that meat rotted and we found it and that's that's the smell you get not a normal dead smell but rotting meat smell and it's i've tried letting it air out it's not helping so we're gonna see we're gonna put this ozone generator to the test see if it will get that smell out of the car like i said i've gotten i've gotten everything that's come in contact with the chicken out so there's nothing that smell is just in everything the other issue is the chicken pooped in the suburban a lot um so I, I still got a lot of cleanup but to be honest i can't it's hard to work in there with the smell it, it is it's bad and so we're gonna see if this thing will get that smell out so i'm gonna set it up and this is definitely gonna be putting this thing to the test. Um, and I'll show you once I get it set up in the car. The chicken, having trouble breathing over here. I mean, it's bad. I'm not squeamish, I'm not anything, but it's bad. So it happened right there. So we've set this, um, this is a, it's a cutting board. Um, some kind of plastic so uh, just set that across the seats trying to get this thing kind of middle of the car and we're gonna plug it in I've got the timer set for 60 minutes we're gonna gently shut the cord in the door uh, it is worth noting uh, do not have any animals or humans in the room or vehicle when you run these it is dangerous so we're gonna have the windows rolled up the car sealed up I ran it for two hours and I think at this point it's better um, but you do still smell it kind of you don't smell it and then all of a sudden you'll get a whiff of death um, so I think what we're gonna do is it's now at least good enough to where you're not gonna gag trying to clean the car on to step two which is cleaning the carpet got this uh I've had this thing for years probably about six years and it works really well i bought it for cars and i mix it up with just whatever carpet cleaner i have and then i put uh the hottest water and get out of my faucet in it and you know that gives it a heat benefit and then I just work quickly, you know, till it makes sure that liquid stays hot. And I spray it down, scrub it, and soak it. And then 
suck it up. All right, carpet cleaning done. Took off those trim panels. It was really stained up over there. It got some of it out, but it's hard to kind of get in there and suck that out, but that's not related to the problem we have now. But the rest of it is cleaned. I did clean the other side as well, just for good measure, I guess. But um, I put a lot of cleaning solution, like one whole tank, uh, just in this area. And then, of course, you know, kept just doing it and sucking it out. And so, lots of cleaning over here. I don't know what phase we're on now, but probably like phase three or something like that. I've pulled the car seats out um, and pulling the covers off of those to get washed. And then I'll just wipe down the seats and then um, kind of going over, I, I went over the back of the seats and stuff like that and the door panels and all the dash and all that kind of stuff. Got all the chicken poop off the dash. Uh, it's all scratched up, but at least all the poop's off of it. And I'm just using some cheap dollar store. I had this stuff. Uh, I'm not gonna put this on the seats themselves. I've got some actual good leather cleaner and conditioner that I'll use on those. But for this, you know, we're just using this on every surface just to clean it. And we still got a little bit to go, but um, we're getting all the chicken poop off and hopefully you know, any surfaces that are holding on to any smells. All right, seats are all cleaned. I mean, this is a, well, I haven't gone over at the cleaner yet. This is what I use is this uh, leather eek. And I've put the, um, the first step on it, the rejuvenator. And then I'm gonna have to follow back up with the cleaner, but um, it's about as good as you're gonna get with uh, 17 year old GM leather seats. You know, they're just, they're pretty beat. They were pretty beat when I got this thing, you know, six years ago, I guess, five years ago. And I've just done my best to keep them from splitting. And I've got some cracking in them, but they haven't split. And that's why we're pulling the carpet out. That is a maggot. It's actually a maggot and getting attacked by an ant. I guess we're rooting for the ant in this case. Well, it's not as bad as I thought. Definitely have some staining on the pad here. I'm trying to decide if I cut a piece out of the pad and then replace it. Um, I may do that. Uh, definitely. The situation here has attracted ants so that's gonna be I guess the number two priority after we get the smell out of here well, this is how we're gonna leave it tonight I'm gonna put a fan on it let it dry out I've soaked it and soaked it and soaked it and sucked all the water out of it uh, lifted up the mat it didn't go through to the bottom side of it so just the top side of it so I think that's gonna have it um, sprayed down the back side of this mat and wiped it down. Um, I think this is staining from the top side because it didn't, the rag came back clean when I sprayed it down and wiped it. So I, I think it pretty much held water or held liquid, except for maybe the cutout right there. Some may have seeped in and uh, the edge kind of, I think it went off that way and then it kind of soaked up into the mat back up that way. So I think we've got it and I've smelled around and none of this stuff right now smells. Of course, all I can smell is the carpet cleaner, but I'll report back to y'all in the morning. All right, as far as the ants, how we're getting rid of those is, um, of course, we vacuum completely. There's no crumbs, no anything in this car. Um, but I've gone through and sprayed the carpet pad uh, lightly with this stuff. 
and sprayed all along the door seals, all the door seals. Um, that's kind of where they're coming up from. And as far as the smell of this stuff, ozone generator should pull that smell out. Um, I mean, it's got a floral scent, but it does have a little bit of that, you know, smell to it of, uh, uh, you know, hot shot or whatever. It's got that distinct smell to it, but that should come out. Uh, I'm going to let this set up. Uh, this stuff, you know, kills for 12 weeks plus, kills germs. So um, that should kill some of the germs that we've got going on in here. Um, and then it should kill the ants and we shouldn't have a problem. They've kind of mostly gone away. There's not near as many as there were, I think since we took away the source of everything, they've kind of gone. Plus, you know, all the stuff's been wet and we vacuumed and, you know, we've kind of mostly eliminated them without this, but there are some of them still around. So we want to make sure when we go back together with this thing that we don't have ants in here. Um, so that's what we're using this for. All right, seats are back in it. They're all cleaned. Um, backs of the seats, everything. Uh, underside and the fabric side of the seat, I sprayed with Febreze. Um, I found Febreze, so I used that instead of Oust. Um, and then I just sprayed under the driver and passenger seat, the front row. And I sprayed all the fabric parts of the third row seat. Um, so just kind of Febrezed all that stuff. I sniff tested it all. It all smelled okay, but I just kind of wanted to make sure it was good. Um, and then went back over all the leather with the uh, leathery cleaner. And so all that's good. So I think we're in pretty good shape. I have not bolted the um, seats down. I've not put any of the trim panels back on. I've left all that off. The goal is right now, we're gonna, I'm letting it run, letting the AC run a little bit. The vents, the air out of the vents smells okay, but I just kind of wanted to let it run for a little bit because the next step is to seal it all back up with these seats back in it. I'm gonna throw the uh, ozone generator in here and run it again. Almost forgot about the windows, went through, cleaned all the windows, the inside of the windshield and all the windows, the back glass, everything. With glass cleaner, wiped it down with a paper towel. And then I did a very light coast coat. I didn't have any oust, and like I said, I ran out of Febreze. Uh, I didn't have much of it. So I ran uh, just a super quick <laughs> over the headliner, very light. Um, so hopefully that'll take anything out. And, you know, to me, uh, Febreze might be a little too wet. This is more uh, finer mist than Febreze anyway. Right, ozone generator is running. The fan is blowing that way to kind of blow that front of the seat. Close it up. One thing I also forgot to mention, uh, took all these interior trim pieces inside, just washed them with soap and water in, in the house. Seemed like the easiest way to clean those. And I've just got them here sitting in the sun to dry out. So as soon as those dry, uh, and we feel pretty good that we got the seat uh, not smelling anymore, I'll bolt the seats down and throw all these little trim pieces in. And we're back together with everything. And I can't smell anything. Um, so I think we've pretty much gotten everything out. I'll throw an air freshener in here. It's got a little bit of a that um, ozone generator leaves a, it's kind of a, like I said, to me it smells kind of like a furniture store. So I'll probably just throw an air freshener in here to get kind of a different smell in here, but um, we're all done. Let's go over what we used and we are in the middle of quarantine here. And so um, the, selection of stuff is not very available this is stuff i had at home already so i did not go out and buy anything other than the ozone generator i did buy that uh, we used my bissell spot clean pro um, both of these came from amazon 
I'll put a link in the description. I've had this thing about five or six years. And of course I just bought that for this project and it definitely made a huge difference. I don't think we would get the smell out without that. So um, in the carpet cleaner, I just used some of this Pro Strength carpet cleaner, Walmart brand, just what I had. Dollar Store leather and vinyl cleaner. We wiped all the interior surfaces, the door panels, the leather on the door panel. That's where I started using this. It's leather or vinyl. I don't know if it's actually leather. But that's where I started using this, and then I just ended up wiping all the plastic pieces with this just because it I figured it was a decent cleaner for that. Uh, we sprayed around some of the interior, you know, the backs of the seats, the fabric backs of the seats with Febreze. Um, the headliner got a very light coating of this Lysol Nutra out. And the only reason I did that one is because I couldn't find my oust, but I did find my oust. Um, I sprayed the bottoms of the uh, front or the middle row seats with the oust. Um, and then just some glass cleaner for um, all the glass. Did wipe down inside of the windshield, all the, you know, the rear doors or the rear uh, glass and then all the side glass and a roll of paper towels. Oh, and my leather eek. Let me grab that. And like I said, the leather eek. We used the leather rejuvenator, wiped all the, the fronts and the backs of the front seats, and then of course the backs of the second and third row of fabric, but all the fronts of the second and third rows, and then came back with the pristine clean, got them all uh, oiled up and cleaned. And so um, this thing is smelling good and it's looking better i need to organize my tools put them all back in i had them kind of all out doing the putting the seats and everything back in so i'll tidy that all back up we'll put all of our cleaners back up and so total cost for this cleaning like i said i already had all this stuff so really i'm just out uh, i think it was 80 bucks for that and then all my labor so Making do with what I have during the quarantine. And now I'm driving the Suburban again. So, thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below. Hit the like button and subscribe for more. And let me know down below the worst smell disaster you've ever had in your vehicle. Because this is definitely the worst smell disaster I've had. Oh, and I forgot... We use hot shot to kill the ants. Anyway, thanks for watching. Done.